Hi, it's Mark with DWE, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your DWE drums to the Roland V71 module using the Drumlink Hub. Let's check it out. So the first thing we'll do is plug the Drumlink Hub into the back of the V71 module. You can use any of the three USB ports to power the Drumlink Hub. Once you've plugged in your hub, you'll see a screen pop up in the V71 window telling you that the hub is connected. Now just arrow over to the right and press OK by hitting Enter. Now on this screen, you'll see your drums start to populate on the right side of the window. If they don't, then just tap each drum to connect it to the hub. Once you see all your drums on the right side of the window, this confirms that they are all connected. You'll also notice that there is an RF channel that can be selectable between 1 and 4. If you do change this, the hub will restart and you'll need to reconnect the drums. Just tap them once again to reconnect. Now right over F2 you'll see the basic screen and this is very similar to the control software. This page has all the same adjustments as the control software such as sign, sensitivity, threshold, retrigger, scan time, and mass time. Now you'll notice I have the snare drum selected. So I can make adjustments to the snare itself here. If you arrow up to the top you can also use the wheel on the V71 to move to any other drum or cymbal to make adjustments to those instruments. By having all the controls built in, you won't need to use your laptop. You can just use the V71 and the Drumlink Hub. Now let's move over to the curve screen. Any drum you tap here will show as a chosen instrument. Right under your instrument, you'll see the different articulations or zones. There's the head, rim, rim shot, and cross stick, and each has their own curve settings. You can use this to dial in your curves to your preferred playing style, and below that is the dynamic range. You can open up the dynamics to be wider, so that when you strike harder, you won't peek out to the full range of MIDI. Or if you want to play softer and still reach the full range of MIDI, then you can lower the dynamic setting here. Now if you press F4, you can get into the advanced settings. Here you can turn some of the options on or off, and you can also go into the advanced section to adjust the balance of rim shot to head and rim to rim shot. Now next to that over F5 are the tools. This is where you calibrate your drums or you can unpair a drum. Let's take a look at the calibration functions. The snare drum, the hi-hat, and the cymbals all need calibration. However, the toms and kick drums do not need calibration. First, let's calibrate the snare drum. We'll select it. You'll see here it says when calibration is active, strike the drum rim once to calibrate the cross stick head pressure. I'll hit enter to start, click the rim, and that's all there is to it. Now we'll move over to the crash symbol. I'll tap the symbol to select it, press F6, and then tab over and hit enter. Now here it says when calibration is active, strike the bow of the symbol for calibration to start. Let's do that. Now that's done. Now let's do the ride symbol. I'll strike it and hit the bow. Arrow over and hit enter, then strike the bow of the ride symbol. And last but not least, let's calibrate the hi-hat. I'll strike the hi-hat. Now here you'll see some different options. The first step is to calibrate the bow, same as we do with other symbols. So I'll select that, move over and press enter and strike the bow. Now we can go back to the tools. The second option is to calibrate the pedal. This is the open and closed amount, so I'll select that. Now you'll see that this will calibrate the open and closed range. Let's arrow over to start, hit enter, and make sure that the hi-hat is open at least two inches so that there's no contact with the bottom part of the cup. Now here I'll press enter, and it says to strike the hi-hat once to calibrate the open position. Now once your open range is set, we'll loosen the clutch and let it drop fully and then tighten the clutch again and then press enter. And we'll strike the hi-hat once again. You'll see on the screen it says done and that's all there is to it. Now your open and closed range is set. Go ahead and open it and adjust it to your preferred playing height. Now we'll close out of this window and you'll see the last screen is the default screen. 
Here you'll see that you can reset all the parameters of any drum link pad. And that's it, we can get out of the trigger settings pages and get into playing. Let's see how kit number one sounds. <laughs> 